Hello everyone and welcome to Whiskey Mess. I hope you're all having a really good Christmas so far. And we've just got two more samples to go. And today's sample will be the Jericho from the Lost Distillery. This distillery opened in 1822 and closed almost a century later in 1913. As always, uh, a really dark colour coming from the Lost Distillery really dark um, it's certainly coloured and these are all bottled at 43 percent as well really nice christmas whiskey this one i'm glad i've opened it today and not earlier in the month a lot of raisins and sultanas rich red fruits as well almost like um buttered red fruits Very dessert like, almost Christmas cake like. In it. So there's obviously a spice in there. Uh, maybe, maybe just the cinnamon in there. But it, oh, it's, it's, it's nice on the nose. That's really nice. Wow. Finish is a little bit quick for my liking, but the flavours you get certainly at the start are just so Christmassy. Really, really nice. Runs a little thin on the taste. A little bit watery, a little bit of wood spice coming through. Yeah, I, I got my hopes up maybe a little bit too high on this one, but it's still certainly a nice whiskey. Here's the thing with the Jericho. The flavours that I'm getting I'm now comparing it to a Glenmorangie La Santa or a, um, a Glenfiddich 15. And I don't feel it's coming off favourably. Especially for the price, we, we all know these are £40 now. And um, the La Santa's around that, the Glenfiddich 15 is around that as well. Does it hold up? little bit of orange on the taste now. It's certainly a nice whiskey and I think if you buy this whiskey you won't be disappointed. But I also would say there's better whiskies for the money in that flavour profile and, and which flavour profile I mean is rich buttered red fruits, raisins and sultanas, Maybe the faintest hint of uh, an almond in there, but it's not very nutty. Just rich red fruits and dry fruits and uh, Christmas cakey. And um, I love those whiskies, especially at this time of year. But I also think there's better out there. Um, but if you drink those whiskies that I've just mentioned then, um, and you want to try something new within that realm, I think this one's a really good one to go for. So um, just a quick one today, thank you for watching and uh, the second review will be up shortly. Have a good Christmas everyone.